What is going on, Governor? It's just school here, and today we've got some fun stuff ahead. It's Mighty Governor Kill event. It's time for the ruins, which means it's time to slay. If you like Rise of the Kingdom's videos that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing the subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdom's videos that help you get value and smash your enemies. This is going to be a fun one. Kill event is always a fun time. Ruins are always a fun time. Smash them together. And I mean, you can see the dots on the map here. We've got some chaos on our hands. So it's time to pop a big old 50% expansion and get in on the action. Oh, yes. Hello, Puddin. Good to see you. Thanks, everybody, for being in the chat before this thing even fired up. Let's start up the action here. So first thing is first, we've got to rock some boosts. We already went to pick up a rune, so we've got a cool 7% attack and march speed, which is really nice. It makes me feel, I don't know, like maybe I could use a slower march. Maybe I could use a slower march, that extra march speed boost already in the bank here. Let's start popping some boosts. First things first. We're going to go in and we're going to upgrade our attack boost to a 10% token. Done. Next thing we're going to do is go in and pop troop capacity. We're going to go from 25% to 50%. Rock that out and it's done. From here, it's time to go figure out what marches we want to use first. Chat, I am going to let you choose. Is it Saladin Esong or is it Guan Esong, chat your choice. What's it going to be? What's it going to be for this first round of combat? If I get a quick look at the other ruins, we are looking frisky over here. We've got 23 minutes till the action begins. We currently are in our Mighty Governor cycle. And let's see here. We, last I looked, were in first place and we still are. In first place, good morning to you, Crunky. Hello and welcome. Uh, this is going to be a good one. Chat wants unanimously, unanimously, Guan Esong. Okay. Wow. Oh, we got we got some Saladins representing in the house. A little, little late to the gun there. So we're going to go with the Guan Esong. And I haven't done this combo yet. But I'm very, very eager to kind of see how it does. Here's the Guan. Here's the Esong. Get those troops onto the field and let's get them into the fight. We've got oh, a little walk to get it down there. So let's get them moving now. Here we go. March our way downfield. Now, as we march downfield, there are a few micro optimizations we need to make. In fact, I'm going to make one more micro optimization before we go too far. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Why do Guan Esong without the lucky coin when I could just drop a lucky coin onto Guan Esong? Equip that bad boy. Oh, yeah. We got the coin up in here. We got the coin. Now I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> I can't believe I just made that sound. Okay, so um, here we go. We got the Guan Esong, and there, there's where the fighting is. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. This is going to be good. Now, there's a few more optimizations we need to make for this fight. Uh, because we've invested pretty heavily into city skins, we've got a infantry city skin that is legendary, so we're going to switch over to that as well. We've got the Age of Devotion for 10% infantry health, and you better believe that 10% health is significant. Boom. We've also got a lot of march speed on our Guan. Just to do a quick review of the equips on here, Here's what we're working with. This is a 5-3-4-5 Guan. I'd love to have him skilled up more, but you know how I roll. I save my legendary commander sculptures until the very last moment before the gates of Kingsland open, and we'll go all in on our commander investments. Uh, but here's the gear that we're rocking, right? The, you know, gray iron helm is very good. We get the special talent on the infantry breastplate, special talent on both pieces of windswept, so we are getting a cool 8% march speed over here from our... Boots and gloves. We do have nice stats from the pants, Greaves of the Exile, which you can get yourself from Canyon and then 
destroy them and build them, destroy them and build them until you get the special talent. That's what we've done. There's our 4% infantry defense and a cool 6.5% infantry defense from the Staff of the Lost using that same approach of build, break, build, break until we've got the special talent. So here we go. We're on our way with the Guani song bringing maximum pain. And I'm eager to see how this pair works. We've not used it yet. Oh, God. That's, this is terrible. First of all, Lazary, get out of the pass. There, yeah, remove from the alliance. You can't, you can't be in the pass. Like, there's, gosh bless, I love you. You probably just disconnected. But, like, you can't target your units to the pass, basically, ever. That's a pro tip for everybody on how to operate a shared pass. Zero times where you actually sit in the pass. Now, our Guan's on the way, and the downside of this march is that it's not very tanky, you know? It, it can't take a lot of hits. Once it does, I'm going to have to go back to town. So... We're going to see if the shields of Alexander the Great are really giving as much sustain as they as I kind of think they are for this Guan March. And then I've got a surprise for you all. I've got a march that I want to try, I kind of want to experiment with, and we, we honestly just might take it for a spin. We have not used it yet, but I think it could be good. Like, I think it could be, I think it could be good, actually. I think it could be pretty good. Now, if we go look at my Guan build, okay, this Guan is not built for speed. These boots are not meant for walking. They're meant for killing, <laughs> okay? The, the, we are using our Canyon build for Guan. Now, this is our Canyon build on our Guan, and the reason that I like this build is that it's really enhancing the damage he does with none of the fluff whatsoever, and I just tapped, like, 10 to 15 different talent points that do basically nothing for you in Canyon, which is why we're using a build like this, none of the fluff and all of the flare. So it should be pretty punchy when we get to this front line. It should be pretty punchy. Welcome to the journey, says General Jax, Dragon Lancer, Markswoman, MVP, best combo, KVK season four, rally and defense. Um... I play since when week one. That's awesome, Ben. Hey, just going KVK, opposite kingdom. A person has 20 million T5. He is hitting all our farmers and hit some cities. Any tips to kick him? Uh, he even lost 2 million T5, but he keeps doing the same. Good Lord. I don't know what you do against a player that's like got 300 million power or 400 million power, and they plunk themselves down in your area and prevent you from farming. That is tough. That's a tough one. Crunky says, good thinking. I never built with March speed. I always ignore, especially since the VIP level will help out. I mean, you know, look, I, what I'll say is that if we were on the back foot in this position on the battlefield, I would absolutely want the March speed. But because we've got a pretty dominant presence on the field at this moment in time, I feel more comfortable bringing a more squishy March. Does that make sense? Normally, I would not actually advise bringing a low mobility, high high damage, but, but low tankiness march onto the field. Um, but I am going to try it, given that I can always fall back into a swarm of allies, and I'm less worried about getting sort of run down. <laughs> Crunky says you run from big players like that because they're slow with those T5. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What are the best Alex pairs? I mean, I think Guan Alex is an amazing pair. The 30% march speed on the Alex is pretty substantial. And you can see we're a lot slower than we normally might be. I mean, I feel like one of those, you know, mega bosses in... Uh, actually, it's the, it's the Skeleton King in Diablo 3 where this guy's like, you know, Guan's like dragging the pull arm on the ground behind him we'll pretend that the pull arm is dragging on the ground here it's so heavy and he just doesn't feel like carrying it lol so in a matter of seconds here we're going to be on the front line and we've got work to do we've got a kill event score to rack up our kill count at the start of this episode is 10.69 million kills that should be easy to remember that's also what it was yesterday but we didn't have anybody to fight so 10.69, we'll keep a kill counter up in the top. 
and we'll see. Fortnite Forever saying, why am I not using Guan Alex? It's Beast. Normally I would be, uh, but we're experimenting a little bit. We got a little Guan Esong action that I'm eager to take for a spin and just kind of see how it does. So here we go on the front line, about to make contact here and start to hit some folks. We're going to try to find the right person and the right angle of attack, given that we're pretty squishy. We want to be really careful to not overcommit to the battlefield or to go too deep. And I see, you know, not Ned there getting a little bit outmaneuvered. And I, I already am not sure that's a good angle of attack. <laughs> also, I'm a little bummed that this resource node is not available to me. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he's using it too with 100% march speed. That's very, very solid. And here's somebody. I, I still feel like I'm really exposed right now. Yeah, I'm I'm way too exposed. All they need to do is flip on me, which just happened, and I'm in trouble. So I'm going to just try to position myself in a way that I can get nice AoE going, but not be exposed to their backline, and then hopefully get some Esong value. Switching targets to whoever's on the front line as soon as they get there, so that I'm not pulled into their backline, and instead I'm getting nice AoE damage on the fringe here which seems to be working really well, but I'm going to have to jump in this node and reposition, which we're going to do. And you see this te technique we're using? We're staying on the edge of the combat, letting our AoE go into the fray without ourselves getting into the center of the fray. And with such a fragile march, Guan Song is very fragile, we need to play that kind of high DPS role, playing on the outside, trying not to take too many hits, while inflicting the maximum amount of pain. We're going to switch it up yet again to a player that is a little bit on the fringe here. And we're going to watch very closely because they're pulling us in now. I'm going to let my E-Song hit. And now I'm going to stay, actually. Okay, now we got to go. Now we got to go. We're getting a little surrounded. So we're just going to, we're going to shift up and then just a smidge back down. And the surrounding is stopped, which is good. And we stayed long enough to get our Esong AoE, which is good. There we go. Boom. Nice hit with the Esong. And, and we're using T5, so we're being very conservative here. We don't really have healing, with the exception of when we leave combat with our Guan. And, you know, just to give a sense of how those reports are going, we'll, we'll pull those up in a second. I, I think this is going very well. We're, we're actually able to play the fringe of the battlefield much better than I was expecting there. Um, that, was, that was actually... A pretty good round. We're going to use our verification here. All right, here we go. I'll tell you, if you're just like charging into combat and you're just like letting your troops hit and you're not sort of manually moving them around a lot, you're going to you're gonna be in trouble with that repair bill. And the only reason we can be so precise is because we're only managing one march, which is a part of what I really like about this format for the Ancient Ruins. So here, this player, Teabaggin Terror, which that's hilarious for their name, uh, is on the outskirts of the combat. So we're just using this opportunity to accumulate some rage, try to stay on the outside. We're going to let this Esong AoE pop, and then we have to back out. There it is, and we're out. Yeah, we're gone. We really couldn't stay for that or we were going to get surrounded. And yeah, there we go. That was good. That was nice. And we get a heal. That was really good. That was really good. So if we take a second just to inspect the damage we've done, that report, not compelling. Let's see here. Uh, 200 to 1,000. Here, here's a good one. Here you can see our AoE doing work, 400 to 5,000. That's the sort of AoE goodness I'm looking for. Um, and I wonder if, like, I see the damage numbers showing up, but I don't see them showing up in reports. But look at all these goodies that I just claimed here. I have to think I damaged enough troops. Yeah, I mean, we we put... What was it? We, we had 0.69. So we put a bunch of troops in the hospital that are not showing up in reports. So I think the AoE from Esong is not showing up in the report, but I think it is doing the damage and I am getting the credit. I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. It's a little weird. That's a little weird because I, I feel like that should have all showed up in the report. But these folks are way 
too perfectly positioned for me to ignore right now. We're going to go and we're going to be, uh, we got to be careful here. Our allies are no longer in the position that I thought they were. We're going to back out a little. Try to reposition. I think my AOE is not showing up in those reports. Chat, let me know what you think there. Somebody do the math on how many kills I just got versus how much I got credit for on the reports. I feel like that did not show up. I feel like that did not show up. Would look better with a Sun Tzu Isong? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. The AoE from Guan is really good. The AoE from Gu Guan is extremely good. Um, Ritik says there's a bug in the science boost and you don't get the research speed? That sucks. I haven't actually verified that, but that would be a bummer. That would be a super bummer. This last report, I mean, we just, yeah, nothing nothing to see here, really. But I wonder if that AoE, we didn't get credit for it. Because we were at 0.69 million, and now we're at 0.7, what was it, 7.1 or 7.2? 7.2. So I think we got more kills there than it gave us credit for in those reports. Which is a bummer, because I really, like, the whole point of bringing the e-song was to show you those reports. But, uh, well. Just what is the best Mighty Governor to invest in as a free-to-play? Mighty Governor, that's a tough one. All right, hold on. Where are we going to go? Uh, oh, okay, this guy, this looks like a really good hit here. If this guy stays where he is, my Guan is going to hit possibly three targets. I can't believe he's also targeting me. This is very perfect. I'm not even going anywhere, and my AoE is going to hit in a second. Here it is. Boom. Nice. We're going to switch to this other target that's more vulnerable. Hopefully, if they're not moving too fast, we'll get a hit here. I got to back it up. Now we got to back it up, which is a bummer because I'd like to have the skill fire off. Bummer it didn't. All right. We're a little too deep. Yeah, and they're, they're coming for me now, so we're just going to use the resource node here to evade this combat and evade it again. And if I'm lucky, they'll chase me in, which I suspect they will. Uh, yeah, we pulled in enough of them that now... Perfect. Interesting choices. Um, I was going to jump in the resource node, but they just did. Good Good play on their part. Kind of expected that. And now... Uh, mm, one of our members is in their node. All right. Uh, da, 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 what do I want to hit? Maybe here. This is a good... This is a good grab, I think. I think this is going to be good. So here you're going to see... Watch the Guan AoE is going to fire off. The Esong AoE is going to fire off. Oh, yeah. Look at all that damage. And we're just going to switch our angle a little here so that we don't get pulled in, but we continue to get that AoE goodness. We are surrounded, and I got to back up. We're a little overcommitted. Yeah, that we stayed a little too long. All right. In the node, out of the node. We stayed a little too long, and you can see why this march is squishy. And we got really punished for it, but at the same time, when I look at my kill count in a second, I think you'll see that we got some serious value. Also, this player that thinks they're being a hero by chasing me down is definitely, yeah, getting wrecked. Interesting choices. Interesting choices. All right, so we got to go back to town. So you can see how this march is very fragile. I mean, it just like very quickly kind of uh, collapsed under the pressure of getting attacked by multiple players. Um, so that might be one of the only negative reports we see all day here. Here here it is when we get a little bit surrounded. But you can see why I was trying to kind of stay in there and do some good damage, even though this doesn't have our big AoE reports, which is kind of a bummer. This is not as good for the reports as I thought it would be, but if I look over here, we're getting some decent kills. We're getting some decent kills. All right. Should I upgrade more Herman? 
or Boudica. I prefer Boudica to Herman, quite frankly. All right, we're going to send this march back. And I'm open to suggestions for what we do next. I'm inclined to rock a little bit of Attila Takeda action. I'm inclined to just uh, slap a piece of gear on over here. We'll bring our Attila Takeda out to the battlefield. And then I'll bring out the combo that I'm kind of excited to try out. So let's bring our Attila Takeda. We're going to send this down here. Well, we'll do this. Oh, the pass. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, we still don't own the pass? Somebody will grab it soon. Somebody will grab it soon. Get another march out. We're doing that right now. Making our way to the pass. We're in kingdom 75. Lost kingdom number 5. Also, it looks like somebody asked a question that I've answered in my ultimate commander. No, it's my my ultimate playlist. I don't know. Link's in the description. My ultimate playlist is pretty good. I mean, it's long-form guides that give you extremely detailed information about when an epic is better than a legendary, how to go uh, from 0 to 5 million power, 5 to 30 million power, 30 million to T5. I mean, the whole nine yards. We've done the whole nine yards in our recent long-form video series. And, by the way, all of it has... Oh my gosh. That feeling when people stand on the rune instead of grabbing the rune. Um, these long-form guides, like, we took all the most commonly answered questions that we get. Or, wait, commonly asked questions that we get in our live streams. And we put... Just very detailed answers to them with timestamps. So you can jump right to the part that you're interested in. I mean, you can be pretty precise with that. And if we look in the kill event, we're rank 75. Okay. Um, and also, hold on. If I go back here. Ah, I didn't think it had updated, but it did update. And in that little bout, we got 34,000 kills, even though it showed much less than that. So, I mean, that went extremely well. That did go extremely well. All right, we're through the pass, which is awesome. And we need to switch our skin now to calves. So we'll go to our 10% legendary skin, Divine Abode. Uh, and I guess we can get some healing going. May as well just kind of fire that off. We also did get a pop over here for the merch. So we'll grab her stuff real quick. You notice that I'm buying the research speedups for resources. We have so many resources that I'm just not that worried about it. And even though I don't need research speedups, you know, I'm inclined to believe that one day there will be a use for them again. And so I'm going to make sure I just have a ton of those. Maybe that's crazy. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. All right. So we're going to get this march into the fray, returning our other march here. And then we'll be good to go. Just cool. Can you make a different a video about the difference between march speed percent and how much time they save? That's an interesting idea. We made a video about maximum march speed recently, ish. I guess it was in the last three months or so. I guess it was in the last three months or so. This is looking good over here. The skirmish is looking good. This is looking good. There's a there's a lot that we can do. I want to leave this fighting down here to the folks in X. I like that we've got a really good division of where the X folks are and where the wolf folks are. So I don't want to mess with that too much. I will make my way to this part of the battlefield to get into the mix. Clear all these out. We got a report here. Uh, we got scouted. Sure. Cav gang. Oh my... Indeed, we've got the cavalry out on the field. We got the cavalry on the field. We got some infantry on the field. Chiskul, what do you think about keeping that format, allowing one army consistent across all building and reinforcement functions? Um, I think it's very different. Uh, I think the one army approach... Oh my gosh. 
this March, though. The one army approach really benefits the free-to-play players, and I'm not opposed to it. I feel like the balance of what they've done... Honestly, like, people are big haters on the new Light and Darkness format. And what I'll say is that for big spenders, the old KVK format was better. And for very, very high-powered kingdoms, basically for the winners of KVK, the old format was much better. Um, but I feel like this new format of KVK is better for free-to-play, and it's better for both the winners and losers of KVK. And I honestly feel that it's more fun and skillful bringing only one march to the ruins, right? Like, if Smash Squad could bring, like, you know, like, look, I, I said this in the live stream yesterday, right? Like, my Attila Takeda is pretty good, but I got four more marches just like it <laughs> in terms of their effectiveness. So if we could be bringing all those marches, it would be much more punishing for free-to-play folks. So I think this is, like, much more free-to-play friendly, honestly. I, I do feel that way. Um... Where do we want to hit? I, I want to hit somebody. But I'm not sure where the right target is. I don't want to just expose myself with my T5 here. I don't want to ex just expose myself with my T5 calves. I think we're just hanging out. I think we're just hanging out for now. I'd really like to be in this part of the battle. I feel like there's a huge opportunity for the folks that are just standing here to just go straight down and slay all these folks. But at the same time, I don't want them to you know, mix with X and run the risk of like hitting each other and hitting friendlies, you know? So what's the right way to do this? What is the right way to do this? I feel like, there we go. We'll go in on this. And we'll just be very cautious now. We're going to try to be very sneaky, very cautious. We're not looking to get surrounded. We're looking to just drop huge amounts of normal attack damage onto folks. And already we're getting targeted, which is not surprising. So we'll just jump in the node. And if they want to keep following me, they can. But that's not going to work well for them. And now we hit the stragglers. Easy. Straggler hunted. <laughs> nice. Oh, and he's standing there to fight. Bold. Super bold. And we'll just switch to the other guy who ran in. Beautiful. So that way we don't have to chase too far. Okay, now... Now we gotta back it up. I feel bad for my ally who went way too deep there. <laughs> Oh, they went way too deep. Yikes. And with that con, they got pretty squished. Uh, I don't want to take the resource node from him. He's going to need that to get away. For sure. I'm surprised that more of my allies are not snaking around to the side part of the battlefield. To, Like, basically what I'm suggesting is that we really should be encircling the folks in the opposing enemy camp here rather than just giving them all this breathing room on this side, given that we've got more bodies. But I guess the marker does say, do not go past this. <laughs> so maybe they're just following the rules. Maybe that's what's going on there. But I do think if we just kind of surrounded them, they'd be in big trouble. But then we wouldn't have any fighting to do. So I suppose this is the more fun way to do it. All right. So now we're just hanging out. Now we're just waiting. We're waiting for somebody to hit. Yeah. I'm not going to chase. Devils, what's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Folks just running around. <sighs> Nothing much to see here. I suppose I'll just put my march back over here for a second and look up here. What do we have going on here? Stalkers are going. Good. Those just started. Very good. Very good. All right, now we jump back down. And we'll see what's going on. Who do we hit? This is interesting. He went pretty deep here. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. We got to be pr careful. 
Somebody took my resource node, which makes me... Okay, good. It's free again. This, this is a good hit. They're going the wrong way. Leon Sugarfoot. Oh, yeah, they realize that. I mean, it's just a remarkable how, like, one or two seconds of the wrong side of things is pretty substantial. But uh, we're going to switch targets, or at least change our angle here, so that we're not sitting on the uh, wrong side of that. There we go. Wow, okay, and they're, they're really cut off. So folks actually did circle around like I was suggesting, which means that we can basically, I think, cut down. There's got to be somebody like this guy who now is very out of position and was not moments ago. Yeah, like straight, straight down. Boom. Somehow I'm the front line again, though. I got I to gotta back it up. Even though I'm, ugh, I really want to hit this sow sow, I got to back it up. All right. Ooh. This player is really out of position. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and also Vampire Brad Pitt is really out of position. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're really focused at the moment. Hitting folks. And we got to move here because look at how fast we got pulled into their line. We got to just back it up a little. And who are we going to hit? I feel like our front line is too far forward now. Like there's a few people that really charged in there. And they are completely out of position. I don't even know how to help without getting myself killed. My gosh. I want to find somebody to hit on the fringe of this, but like... This Saladin is is looking good. Hit that. But the Saladin's already turned around. See, so yeah, this this is a little precarious. Maybe this guy is not paying enough attention, and we'll get some good hits here. But he's turning around. We just got to be careful because suddenly we're like in the middle of all their marches, which is a problem for obvious reasons. So we're trying to get some hits on the folks on the fringes here without committing. Uh, we're on the wrong side of that again. So you see how my march kind of swung around to the other side of their unit? That That is catastrophically bad positioning. And we, we just can't stay in that position because then what we want to do is chase them being on our side of the the kind of front line rather than on their side of the front line which is just catastrophic. So this, this, for example, is a really good chase that we have going, where we are on our side of the line rather on their side of the line as we chase them. Okay, and we'll hit somebody else here. Now we'll back it out. Too deep. Way too deep. And if they chase me then my team is going to shred them, which is good. And we just turn it back around and we do this all over again. Where do I want to hit, though? This guy. I don't know why you would walk forward at such low health, but this couldn't be more perfect for me, especially if he just wants to stand here and fight, which he probably won't want to do. Um, we are way out of position. Time to go. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to watch chat very closely, but I have to watch my T5 march for the repair cost, obviously. We got to watch that very, very closely. Trying to get some value hits in here where we can. Some nice meaty normal attacks. Shift to somebody else, staying on the fringe of this combat as best we can. And oh my god, there's a markswoman. What in the world? I'm surrounded, so I have to be careful. But one of the marches surrounding me right now is markswoman. So <laughs> there's markswoman Esong. You saw it here first. KVK Season 4, Light and Darkness. 
Mark's Woman E song, new KVK MVP. My God, I need to take a picture of this. I need to take a picture of this, but I can't, I can't, <laughs> can't do it. I can't do it. Mark's Woman E song. Are those T5s? My God. And there's a Herman. Somebody brought a Herman. All right, well, Brendan John, thank you for that entertainment value. I'm eager to look at that report. You're not going to want to miss it. Stick around, people. Stick around for that report. Oh, my gosh. Um, How do I do this without overcommitting on my position? We're, we're a little further in than I'd like. All right, back it up, buddy. Back it up, back it up. Back it up, Chiskul. Back it up. I knew that guy was going to jump through here. Everybody wants to hit a content creator. Okay, uh, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, so um, what just happened? What just happened? This Alexander the Great, we got some good damage in. Um, <laughs> oh my. Oh my. This Esong El Cid. Esong El Cid, look at that. I don't even remember hitting that. I honestly don't even remember hitting that. I I don't even remember hitting that. Um, cool. I mean, that went pretty well. Who else was in this report? Whew! Man! All right. That's a pretty good one. 15,000 over there. What do we got over here? Another 11,000 over here? Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. 2,000 to 8,000. I mean, I think my Esong was getting as much value with my Guan... But it just doesn't show up in the report is the problem. So it just doesn't look as cool. But if we look at our kill counter and then look at the reports, I think we can unpack exactly how much damage we did. So speaking of which, if we just get a look over here. I mean, this is going pretty good so far. This is going pretty good. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me refresh that. Aha! That's much better. <laughs> That's much better. So we were at 10.69 at the start of this. So our kill count is 300,000. We got a kill count of 300,000. And let's bring our next march out to the battlefield. Now this next march is a bit of an experiment. And I don't know. I think it's a cool idea. This next march is going to be Guan, Freddy, and it's going to be full infantry. And we're going to bring that here like i said you never reinforce the pass we used it only to create the march to send so guan freddy i got a feeling about this one this was my surprise march where i was like i was like you know what this could be a thing we're now 19th in our kill event that's good i do want to maintain first place in the kill event and you know look we're at war so you can't really ask people to can you know constrain themselves and they're killing so we kind of got to go all in here we kind of got to go what are, wait what what are these marches doing oh my gosh what are they doing oh my goodness what are they doing they're so out of position like if our marches up here just shift south like all these guys are dead no they haven't yet so i got to be really careful i'm too deep already which I figured out just in time. But if our march is up north, just like turn down like two steps. Like if these guys over here just cut straight in an angle across, all these folks over here, they're just dead. They're literally just dead. Oh my God. They're, they are so out of... This group of people is so out of position. It is astonishing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit them. I'm surrounded, and I honestly don't care. I, yep, there it is. There it is. They're cutting over. Somebody's watching the live stream. They're cutting over, and these guys are all just dead. Everybody's dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're all just dead. <laughs> oh, boy. And there it is. Chiskul reading the battlefield. Lol. And, and the funny thing... You know what's going to happen next? This is the best part, is all these guys are going to charge in, 
And once they've done this little dance down here, all the folks that are here just cut back up again. And then these guys are all going to get cut off. Oh my gosh, it's too good. Too good. Wow. This is the... Right now we have a numbers advantage. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. So the reason we can do this is because of our numbers damage or advantage. Um, Riley, good to see you. And also Redline, 1341, what's going on? Good to see you as well. We're dancing on the front line here. We're dancing on the front line. We're dancing with death. Um, we're going to need to turn around in a second. But for as long as we can hit this sow and get a lot of big damage, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the dan- mm, Oh my gosh. Do we turn around? Do we turn around? I think it's time. I think it's time. We're going to hit this guy who's way out of position. If everybody from my alliance would focus on Diplodocus or Diplodocus, they're just so out of position. I mean, we just collapse on them. I'm facing the wrong way, though, so I can get surrounded really easily. I got to back up because of my position. Again, I'm on the side of the enemy march that's on their line of the battlefield than my own. But if I just... Where am I going? If I just go... Oh, good. Wow, it lagged. I was like, where am I? I thought I said to go somewhere. Now I just go to our side. And look, we got to send our T5 home. You can't You can't fool around with T5. You can't fool around with T5. You can't, you can't let your march die. You can't... We got to bring in the Guan. Here comes Guan Freddy. Man, I wish I had Freddy expertise. Oh, I wish I had Freddy expertise for this. I have a feeling about this that these folks are going to take some big damage. I just like, I got a feeling. I got a feeling that this is going to be pretty nuts. Ooh! I told you I had to chase this Sao Tao. I, I, I knew I had to chase this. 20,000 kills there is really, really solid. 20,000 kills is really solid. Oh, here we went even. All right, all right. Here, we were a little positive. A little positive. The thing that I like about the um, Attila Takeda is that we at least see the amount of damage that we're doing in the reports here. So I really, I really like to at least be able to show that off, you know? But let's bring the old Guan Freddy down to the battlefield. And if we go over here, close out, reopen it, we were at 10.69. We're now at 11.03. So we're getting some kills, some decent kills. And I should look up here real quick. How long has it been? We definitely missed the five minute mark to kill the orange. Uh, how long? Oh, 184 on stalkers. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Chat, let me know when two minutes have elapsed here so I can get in on killing the... Uh, mini boss up here i'll help out with that in the meantime we look back down on this part of the battlefield where the action is baby speaking of action if you're enjoying this video if you could drop a like onto the video that helps out the channel a ton costs you nothing it's your way of giving me a virtual high five but no germs involved which is pretty sweet and consider subscribing for daily rise of kingdoms content to help you get value and smash your enemies we're about to enter into the gates of hell, a.k.a. Kingsland, in like less than a week. It's going to be some of the most intense fighting that happens in Rise of Kingdoms. Not unique to our KVK. In every KVK, Kingsland is where the action is. And we're going to try to show as much of that as we possibly can. So consider subscribing to see all that good stuff. Uh, Mobile Cats Gaming. Hey, it's been a while. How do you get more of the coin to cash in? For Grace of Salute credit? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. However, one thing I do know is that I think I need to change my city skin. Let's go get a look over here and see about that. We do need to do some healing. We do need to change our city skin, get that infantry health going. Boom. And I need this march to be able to go through the pass. So that's a little awkward. Um, I guess I'm going to take it. Take the pass. Better not be anybody in there. There is not. Walk through. Go home. Cool. All right, now we can use our guan. Easy. Easy. Sean Hooks, thank you for being here. 
Can I answer your question? Uh-oh. Infantry main, I don't see your question. I can't find your kingdom 1075. Oh, we're not in... We're So we're in Lost Kingdom right now. We're in Lost Kingdom. And yes, Crunky, we are Germany presently. We are Germany. We have a training event coming up this week leading into our battle to Kingsland. We also did 10 million power in T5 um, for Mighty Governor. And before that, another 10 million power in T5. So Germany is really great for KVK. Um, the cavalry stats is great. The training speed is great. The AP recovery is great. And as soon as the rallying begins, we'll switch it up and use something else. So here, let's see what's going on here. Wow. I think everybody's in wolf now. Oh, that makes sense. Because X is all at the ruins. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes a ton of sense. Okay. So now we've got this march that I'm like super pumped about. I I'm like really hyped for Guan Freddy. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm very, very hyped for this. I got to find the right angle of attack here and get some good value from that. Nothing yet. Nothing's showing up yet. This is a glass cannon march. Make no mistake. It's a glass cannon march. So we got to be really careful. Unlike our Attila Takeda, um, which has a lot of counterattack, a lot of defensive capability, we do not have that here. We are a glass cannon. So we need to be really careful in where we commit our troops and who we hit. I think we might have a clean hit here. No. And I think we just got hit by some AoE. I think we did. Hmm. Oh, good for them. We gotta, we gotta find something better. It's been two minutes. Since what, Sniper Tom? Since what? We're not getting a good opportunity here. We're not getting a good opportunity to hit somebody. The stuff down here could be good. I feel like they're all backing out. I want to get a nice hit in. We'll see if we can arrange that. We'll see if we can arrange that. Uh Oh, my. Honey Badger, no. <laughs> okay, maybe Honey Badger's just baiting them. Maybe he's just baiting them. Hmm. Oh, my. There are some marches over here that are curious. I'm trying to stay out of the AoE. There's not really a good opportunity to hit with this. I and, mean, you know, if I had T4 in this march, I would be a bit more aggressive because I'm less concerned about the repair bill. But the repair bill is pretty steep with T5. You got to use those pretty expertly. And honestly, I think field fighting with T5 is a little bit of a trap. Did I just get hit by something? No. I did not. It's just some, uh, uh, Richard the First AOE. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this guy. It's I am Grutu again. Okay. I think we're going to get some good damage in here. Here we go. Here we go. Damage is going. They're really out of position. Freddy is going big. Nice. Switch it up. Hit a new target. Going to try to stay on the fringe of this. Okay. I got to back up. We're too deep. Woo! We're out. I don't know how that went. Presumably decently. But they're not giving me a ton of opportunity to really lay into somebody. Which is smart. Which is smart. We had some really good hits earlier that were honestly like way better than they should have been. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing, nothing. All right, nothing too special in those reports, quite frankly. Nothing too special. They're playing very defensively, and I think it's working for them. I mean, that the defensiveness is, is going well. I almost feel like we should listen to our actual moon marker here and kind of back up, give them a chance to get out of the pass and get out of position. Hmm. Where do I want to 
want to hit from? Oh, over here, obviously. Obviously over here. Yeah, if all these folks turn around right now and hit these guys down here, they're just dead. So this is the obvious place to go. This right over here is the obvious goody good. Right here. Right here. Oh, man. Pfft. Done. See ya. It's going to take me 30 seconds to get there, but this player is completely dead. They just don't know it yet. Um... Yeah, where am I going? I guess I want to hit... Do I still want to hit that guy? No, I got a better target right next to me. Oh, baby. It's like I said, th this entire mess of people was out of position. They didn't realize it. And all I did was make the call. And I imagine somebody is just listening to the live stream from my alliance. And they're like, oh, hey, Chiskul noticed they're all out of position. Go here. All right. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Um, I find myself on the wrong side of this again, so I got to reposition to be on the correct side of the front line. There we go. Now I'm on our side of the front line hitting into them, which is what we want. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, these guys, I think we routed them. I think that qualifies as having routed them in this part of the battlefield. I don't know. We got to be careful to not chase too far. We're just switching between targets here. And I'm just going to reposition using the resource node. And reposition again. Uh-oh. Hmm. I'm too deep. I got to back up a little here. Yeah, I called that. Get into this node. Boom. Easy. And they might chase me, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, that, that would be a mistake. Now I got them. Who's hitting who? Okay. And... Cool. We're out of combat. Seems good. I don't know if this is going as well as I would have liked, honestly. I feel like the Guan Freddy is fine, but I'm not getting as much value as I was hoping that I would. Um, and a part of that is that they're just not giving me very many targets to really lay into, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but now if this group at the hold marker just cuts left, like, it's exactly, like, we just need to switch back and forth between the top group, the bottom group, the top group, the bottom group, because now if all these people cut up into the left, then all these guys are going to get cut off, and they're just going to be dead. Like, this guy, yeah, he's already kind of out of position. Hopefully he's getting slowed so we can just wail on him. Boom. There we go. Uh, I got to back up. Too many people targeting me. I think, I, I think my target was a good hit, but I got too many people targeting me. And now my alliance members are here. So I can lay in a little bit more safely, I think. I think. We'll see. We'll see. Could be proven wrong on that. Okay. Nice. Now we'll see if we get some good Freddy damage in. And I'm going to switch to hit this Alex. Ooh, baby, this is a little crazy. It's looking a little crazy in here. Uh, I'm gonna back out. This is this is a little crazy, little too deep, I think, but hard to say. Okay, we're hitting from the outskirts of this fight. Oh my god. Okay, we're way too deep. Way too deep. Try to get out of there before it's too late. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this combo, I was really excited about it initially, and I'm just not seeing what I want to see from it. So I'm a little bummed. Toby Toby, thank you for the HK15. Add oil chiskool. <laughs> oh, boy. Who is hitting me? 
Uh, I think we can hit this guy. One of these guys? No? Maybe? All right. All right, I think we got to bring this home. This combo's got to go home. I don't know, chat. What do you think about that? Was the Freddy... Was the Guan Freddy a thing? I don't think Guan Freddy was a thing, though. Candidly. I don't think it worked. Not nearly as well as I thought it would. We're going to go bring this to the field. I just didn't have as much opportunity as I really felt I needed or would have liked um, to... Oh, gosh. Uh, come on, people. I didn't have as much opportunity as I feel like I would have liked to have Freddy's damage really sink in, you know? Like, it di just didn't feel like I had that opportunity to really do work with that. Let's see what we did here. This report is fine. This report is even negative. I mean... Yeah, I'm not... I am not in love with that combo, which I find myself surprised because I thought it was going to do some work, but it really didn't. Um, I'm going to have to uh, admit a fail on that one. I'm going to have to admit a fail on that one. <sighs> Why don't you use Guan with a tank? Because Guan is a high DPS commander. Um, and you want to pair with another high DPS commander to kind of amplify their effectiveness. I thought that the skill tree with Freddy and Guan would be really good. I didn't get the value I thought I would get. I didn't have enough situations where I could commit to hitting the same target for long enough. I think that the skill attacks firing off, I was getting a lot more value than I did there. Because, like, I think, I think our kill count would have, like, barely gone up there. Yeah, I mean, it barely went up. Not even not even a sig significant amount. So that was definitely not... This is not a combo. Freddy needs to be maxed to be effective. Even then, I was pretty unimpressed with what I just saw. And the problem is not... It's not that Freddy isn't good. It's that Freddy needs time to just sit there hitting the same thing. So does Attila Takeda, which is why I'm a little surprised. That's why I'm a little surprised, is basically Attila Takeda needs time to just, like, hit the same thing over and over. Anyways, we're going to make our way over here, and we totally missed out on what was happening up here. We totally missed on this, whenever that happened. Eh, whatever. We're getting honor. That's cool. I'll take honor. Martel should be second to Sun Tzu. Um, I mean, optimally, I would like Martel to be primary and Sun Tzu to be secondary. I think in my perfect world, that's how I'd like that configured. Um, because Martel is going to give the 30% extra damage to Sun Tzu, and then he's going to do big AoE. That seems like the way to do it. It seems like the way to do it to me. All right. So we're back in with our Attila Takeda. I feel better about this combo. I feel much better about this combo. Ooh, my gosh, what in the world is this player doing? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's going to be a big repair bell. That is going to be a big repair bell. Yikes. Yikes. Woof. Um, Matthew wants to see my Herman talent tree. Herman? Wow. Yeah, we can do Herman. Uh, you want to be in the skill tree. Because Herman is all about... Where did I put him? Up top? Oh, wow. All the way up there. Herman's all about generating rage in the fourth skill. So I go all in on that mechanic to get more silences. This is the Herman build that we use. Take a screenshot, because we got to go back to fighting in a second here. Boom. All right, where are we at? Almost to the battlefield. Is Alex's attack tree better than Richard's defense tree when paired together? It depends on what you're doing. Certainly not if you are defending something. Um, defending something. What do I mean by that? Because, like, Alex does not go into a garrison, just to be clear. Uh... I mean, I, I still feel like it depends on what you're doing. 
Don't forget to change my city skin. Chat with the Clutchetier maneuvers. Boom. City skin changed. And uh, we can even get some troops healing. Troops healing. Boom. All right. Back to the front. Back to the front. Here we go. What is the good word on the front line? Line, line. Okay. Cool. Can I see Bybar's talent tree? Um, not at the moment, since we're on the front line here and we're about to fight. I guess we all just stand here. I really want to hit that E-song. I, I really want to hit that E-song. I really want to hit this E-song. Oh my god. Yeah, everybody wants to hit E-song. Who doesn't want to hit E-song? And if the E-song runs, I'll hit the Minamoto. Now the Minamoto's going to run. So I'll hit somebody else. Oh, i got to be careful. Got to be careful. Don't want to get focused out here. But I didn't get my skill attack off. So I, these are the sorts of things I'll show you the report just to give a sense. Oh, actually, wow. Ho, 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 wow. For not even having a skill attack fire off, that is ridiculous. 3,000 T4 that I just injured? Woo! Really? Wow. Oh, man. Our poor Alliance member, Cobra Sam, way out of position there. Just way out of position. Holy jeez. Let's see if we can hit Lag Pro. Lag Pro making a bold choice here, and I'm, I'm bummed that one of my Alliance members got out of the resource node. I'm very surprised Lag Pro didn't get into the resource node. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to back it up. And we're going to hit this guy. And we're going to need to back it up in a second. Back it up. Because we're surrounded. But I don't care. Lag Pro is half dead already. Now we turn and hit Lag Pro again. Yeah. And my alliance members are with me. My wing people are with me. So we're good. Um, we're a little forward here. I gotta back this up. We're out. Good. Good. Yeah, those were clean hits. Those were pretty clean hits. I feel pretty good about that sequence. That was, that was pretty good. When are new cavalry commanders coming? I would expect soon. I would expect soon. Um, not this next mighty governor, but probably a month. So like, th I, I would say new cavalry commanders will be in the game. Actually, probably in this next patch, we'll see them in the profile right down here at the very bottom as commanders that are uh, available. Probably in the next patch that's just coming up. And that that's where I, where I expect they'll be, and then I think they're not going to be in the next mighty governor, but the one after. That's my guess. That's my guess. Uh, uh oh, I don't want to hit that guy. I just want to reposition. Oh my gosh, this Caesar, the Caesar. First of all, they brought Caesar, so they definitely don't know what they're doing. But second of all, they're just standing there, so they certainly don't know what they're doing. This should be really good. Let's get some skill attacks in. Oh my gosh, Caesar CPO. Please let me hit this guy until his march is defeated. Oh, <gasps> to what? What? Oh my gosh, Brendan John bringing the most hilarious marches. Brendan John just being hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. They they clearly know they're on the live stream. They clearly know they're making the live stream. Uh Okay, but back it up, back it up, back it up. Cool. What in the world? All right, first of all, here's this report. So that's a good one. This is even? Sure. Oh, my gosh. Brendan John with the Tomo <laughs> he song. Uh, they're just tro They're just having a good time. They're just having a good time. I mean, it's a pretty expensive hospital bill. It's a pretty expensive hospital bill, but they're just having a good time. That's really funny. 
Oh my gosh. Tamo primary. Classic, classic combo for a 10 day old kim- kingdom. <laughs> uh chisco i'm new to the kingdom just finishing season one of kvk plan on alex and constantine i'll pair alex with e song infantry who to pair constantine with uh well it depends on who your other commanders are i mean constantine could be with richard or martel or sun tzu any of those would be good even boudica if you didn't have other options would be a good pick there even boudica would be a fine choice among those options this player excalibur what are they doing i don't know i'm gonna get a few hits here oh and they stood still for me oh my gosh what a gift what a gift they're gonna let me just hit them oh boy okay i might get surrounded i gotta back up now we gotta back up and hit somebody else sure oh my gosh they're chasing me what a mistake oh my gosh okay hit this other player boom seems good <gasps> what are they doing this player is completely cut off it's lag pro again <laughs> oh my gosh they're in honey badger mode all right. Oh my gosh. And there's a Pelagius. What's happening in my life? The Pelagius is definitely the kill. Oh my gosh. Look at it get melted. Oh my gosh. How much value can I get off that before I have to turn around? That's the real question. I'm surrounded. Where's the Pelagius going? The Pelagius is giving me a free ride to safety. What? What? Oh my gosh. What is happening? Hit this guy. I gotta, I, I gotta turn around. Just turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Get out of there, dude. I don't even know what's happening anymore. I can't tell up from down. That was crazy. What in the world just happened? Also, I should send this march back. We're using T5. Don't fool around, just cool. Send this march home to refresh. Send this march home and figure out what in the world just happened in those reports. Do I, wait, do I not have the reports? Where are all the reports for like the last? What? Where are all my reports? Chad, am I crazy? Have a, what is happening? No reports? I guess, wait. Hmm. Where's the Pelagius report? What? What? Did that just happen or did I just dream it? What just happened? Okay, hold on. Let's look at the kill count. Let's look at the kill count. We definitely got kills. We're up to 11, 1190. We definitely got kills, but what just happened? Every time you say back it up, it reminds me of the TikTok vibes by Cookie. Please listen. Just the start, duly noted. I'll go do that later. <laughs> oh my gosh. You need to click your back button on your commander to get a report? That doesn't make any sense. I really wanted to see that Pelagius report. That should have been insane. Reports are bugging. No kidding, reports are bugging. Good lord. Um... I'm always missing reports from the ruins fights. This is why the kill counter is crucial. This is why the kill counter is crucial. We were at 1169 before we started this craziness. We're now at 1119. So we're doing pretty well. 500,000 that we've injured. New mail received. Report? No. And it says I have... T All right, I don't even know anymore. What's the best secondary for Khan? I mean, if you want to be tanky, you go with the Saladin. If you want to use uh, a lot of damage, you use Cao Cao. Also, you could use Freddy or Osman. Osman as a secondary to Khan, as a free-to-play, is like kind of amazing. 
The rage engine's just out of control. Heck, you could even use Esong in Canyon. That's a thing. What's the best secondary for Khan in Season 2 of KV? Okay, are you talking for rallies or like what What use? What's your use? I'm going to bring this march home. Then we're going to move over our lucky coin. And I want to start using maybe some Guan Alex. I want to I want to get some Guan Alex action in the mix here. So we'll queue up some healing. Get that going. And we'll switch over some gear and we'll get this Guan Alex stuff going. Tomo build, please. Hilarious. Go in, I mean, Tomo should be the secondary. Like... Maybe you hit someone else instead of Pelagius. Well, that would be a bummer. Because gosh darn it, that Pelagius looked so juicy. That Pelagius looked so juicy as a target. You should wait like three to five minutes before opening your mail so all reports get loaded. Do you think if I force quit, I'll have more mails? Is that a thing? Could that be a thing? Daniel Newland says, Chiss, love your content. Quick question. I'm low on gold stars. Any advice? Gold stars are tough. Um, you're going to want to get those, obviously, from the VIP shop over here. Get your dazzling starlights. But otherwise, gold stars are kind of an expensive predicament. You, what could you do? What you could do is like the events on kind of a regular basis that give you a reward for getting to a certain tier that's one way to make sure that you're always getting those. And over time, you'll get a bunch of gold stars out of the deal. That'll help a little bit. But gold stars are going to be a problem. Gold stars are going to be a problem. Focus might have to be the answer. What's better, Guan Alex or Alex Guan? Definitely Guan Alex. Tamo is so OP on a jumper account. Well, that I would believe. That I would believe. Best Open field, free to play, secondary for Sun Tzu. Olji Mundok or Boudica? Olji Mundok or Boudica? Okay, now we can switch around our gear. Here we go. Coin onto Guan. Oh, I had the coin on Guan. Guess I knew that. Guess I knew that. All right, fine. Switch up the city skin. Infantry, done. And move the troops. Let's get him in a position. Boom. Um, boom. Okay. Guan Alex on the field. And we'll move into position. Do, do, do. Expedition shop for gold stars. Chris Tupper, you're not wrong. Um, I'm a little bit torn on the expedition shop. Let me tell you why I'm torn on the expedition shop. What I was doing for a while is I would spend 100 gems to do a refresh because I figured that at least every two or three refreshes, I would get a gold star. So I'm paying like two or 300 gems per gold star. That seems like a not bad amount, but I don't love it. And now that there's so many uses for gems in the game, I'm just kind of not a fan. Uh, what's going on here? I guess the fighting is all over here. That's cool. People just kind of duking it out for the Mighty Governor kill points. I get it. I definitely get it. Um, Nice. My Alliance Honor is cruising along. I remember when I started to watch and you were 36 million power. And now look at you with 144 million. Oh, how we've grown. Oh, how we've grown. And speaking of growing, in the next week, we're going to do the opposite of growing. We are going to have millions of t5 troops die consider subscribing to make sure that you don't miss out on all the fighting in kingsland it's going to be insane it happens in less than a week subscribe to make sure that it shows up in your feed and if you're enjoying this drop a like on the video that helps out the channel costs you nothing and i don't know maybe more people will notice it if enough people like the video uh we've got 84 seconds until these stalkers spawn and more than 84 seconds until we're in position. So we're going to kill some darn stalkers already. We're going to kill some gosh darn stalkers finally. Also, I got more mail. None of it is my report. Sadness. Sadness. How much did you spend to get so high on power? 
We've been playing the game for 585 days, and we spend about 2000 bucks a month. So there is your answer. Don't forget to drop a like, says Stephen Blom. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. 43 seconds, baby, until we get the spawn. Is Athelflight good in Kingdom versus Kingdom? Yes, but not in a ruins fight not in a ruins fight um she's just too squishy she's just too squishy not enough mobility ethelflaed can't hang in a ruins fight which is interesting her aoe is going to get you a lot of kills though if, if you're really skillful if you're really 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 skillful and position her on the outskirts of combat and you never get caught out of position I think you could do some work with your Ethelflaed, but most people are not going to do that. Even I struggle to pull that off consistently. Here's the special boss. Let's get in on that. Hopefully, we're not so slow that we can get there in time and get a few hits in, make a little contribution. VIP 10 is definitely worth it. 2K a month, I know. I know. It, it's a kind of crazy amount to spend on a mobile game. Worth mentioning, we're a sponsored creator in Rise of Kingdoms, and for us, I mean, like, we're sort of creating and growing a YouTube channel, which is kind of like creating and growing a business. So for me, it's kind of like a business expense to be spending in a mobile game. I don't know. I'm still wrapping my head around it. Let's see if we get a good present. Ooh, a gold star. Ooh, 500 gems. Oh, I think I was late. I think I was late to the to the gems i could have got the gold star too but because i was indecisive now i get nothing and the thing that i'm really doing now is seeing if the rare pattern dropped which it did not everybody wants the gems nobody's gonna get the gems i did i get them no i didn't get them all right wow no rare pattern drop well that's okay all right we'll go back over here and look at this march now Why are there four dislikes? Who knows? Must be a millionaire? Nope. Not a millionaire. Not a millionaire. An entrepreneur? Yes. Millionaire? No. I came here from the video you did with Echo Gaming. Well, that's awesome, Yoda Kid. Thank you for that. Echo is one of my absolute favorite content creators. Bar none. Echo Gaming is awesome. Great human. Great content creator. I can't wait to collaborate more with Echo. I enjoy doing that. I really do enjoy doing that. Doesn't your account reach a point where big spending doesn't help as much? That is true and not true. We still need more troops in order to win Mighty Governors so that we can get more sculptures, so we can max out commanders. And we're just strapping on our battle gear here, uh, grabbing my iPad, getting ready to fight. Um, oh, baby. This player. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're, they're gone. I'm not even going to get a skill attack, unfortunately. They're just... Am I? No. They are gone. Yep. <gasps> oh, my goodness. A Julius Caesar. We've got a Julius Caesar spotting. Somebody doesn't know what they're doing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's just gone. Julius Caesar is just gone. I'm not saying Julius Caesar is a bad commander, but this is not how you use Julius Caesar. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're, they're gone. I gotta be really careful to not hit allies here. This is very tough. Our members in X are just like right in the middle of this. Which is such an awkward place to be. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Uh, get some free hits. I mean, yeah, that looks good. This looks good. Uh-oh. We're a little out of position. Get some AoE. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. There we go. Backing it up. Turn around. Oh my gosh, this guy's out of position chasing me now. <gasps> it's Grutu again! Oh, this guy, I feel bad. I keep, he keeps being out of position and getting hit. Oh, we're, we're, we're way too deep, way too deep. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, no. 
Well, I think we might just be dead. I think we might have just lagged into our death. That one second of delay was pretty bad. Oh my goodness. Well, that wasn't so bad. We took maybe like 30,000 in injured troops there. Um, and, and they're not all set se severely injured. There are like some slightly in, in that. That was not so bad. That was not so bad. We'll open that report in a second and see how bad that was. We definitely lagged for a second and it kept chasing instead of turning around. And that was pretty catastrophic. Um, yeah, we got to turn around and hit this guy. All right. And we just got to be a little careful. Eh, be a little careful. I would like to have gotten a skill attack off. Maybe I still can. There we go. Good. Don't know who I'm hitting. Hoping it's something good. Looks like I'm on the outskirts of the combat. Seems to be working okay. But let's try somebody else over here that might be a little safer to hit. Oh my. Hard to say what's happening. Let's um, hit this guy. And we got to run in just a second because we're facing the wrong way. Okay, we got to go. We're going to get out of there. Looking good. Feeling good about the march speed on that Guan-Alex combo. And now we reposition a little bit. Nice. Okay. Good. And I don't know what these players in X are doing here. They should all be at the ruins getting honor. Like, there's zero reason for them to be here. Uh, What is that guy doing? Who are we going to hit? Nobody good to hit yet. This guy... This guy's looking good. Wow, and he thought I was good to hit? What a mistake. Okay. Loads lag, bro. <laughs> He's back. He's back. He's back. All right. Let's get out of there. Oh my gosh, this guy's just dead. That guy is just dead. Woo! Check in Blacksmith to see <clears throat> when you can get a specific blueprint. That's the place, baby. That's the place. All right. Um, what do I want to do from this position? I want to go look at reports. That's what I want to do. What happened here? Okay, the battle with Lag Pro was even. Okay, nothing to report here. What about where we were out of position? Yeah, so here, that was negative slightly. That was negative slightly. That was not so bad. Was that it? Was that it? Was that all that happened for when we got out of position there? That can't be right, because that report's good. That report's fine. This report was a darn barbarian? Oh my god. Chiskul's such a noob. Alright, um... Cool. I killed a barbarian. Good for me. Good for me. Thanks, um, Kane, watching the ads to support me. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Are you doing the ARC live stream for JWM and Hong Kong Legends? I believe that I will be casting, presumably, with Dr Dragothian and Gecko. We still have to figure that out. We still have to figure that out. I've been so busy duking it out in these fights that I've not been watching that very closely. Hmm... Who can I hit here? Who can I hit without getting committed to the battle too deep? We'll see. We'll see when somebody gets out of position and we'll just hit him. Is this guy just going to hit me? Oh my gosh. Okay, we found our target. We found our target. The teabag in terror. Uh, and we'll switch to this guy. Perfect. Staying on the outskirts of combat. Getting our AoE. Love it. Love it. Now it's now I'm not loving it. It's getting risky. Okay, Guan AoE hits and we're out of there. We are out of there. Bye. Bye. See you. We're out. We are out. And poor Cobra Sam's out of position again. 
man, not having a good day. Woof. Yikes. And we're low enough on health that it might be time to refresh pretty soon here. It might be time to refresh. What's our Mighty Governor rank? We are currently rank 1. We are currently rank 1. Speaking of which, to hold that rank, we got to keep fighting. So we are going to send a new march to the pass. Reinforce the old Attila Takeda jam. A classic but goodie. Boom. Bring it on up to the front. Alex Guan. Let's play around with this a little more. We got we got a little more to do with our Alex Guan here. Richard is great for many things, just not your own wall. I generally agree. Best epic as a secondary to Ethelfled is going to be Sun Tzu. Of course, he's good in many places. And they got a lot of players here. They got a lot of players here. We got to be careful. We're going to hit the outskirt here. Hope for some good AoE combat. Plush attack is going to come on up here and contest. We are going to swing to hit plush attack instead. They're lower health, so this works out in my favor. There's the skill attack. Feeling really good about that. And we've got one player supporting me here. We are a little out of position. And if we chase these players, we're going to be flanked. we got to back it up. we got to back it up. We are now surrounded, but okay, because they're so low health already. I'm going to turn and fight this guy. We have support from our allies. Some of them are coming to hit me, which is going to be a mistake for them because we're watching our position very closely. And now it's time to send this march home. It's almost like, whoa, 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 what is this guy doing? See, see what I mean by like attacking from your side of the line versus the enemy's side of the line? That guy was on our side of the line. So even though he might have been hitting the right person, he was on the wrong side of the line and was going to get hit. Um, oh my, Levitz is really out of position. Hopefully we can capitalize on his being out of position. Nope, nope, just kidding. He got away. Good good work, Levitz. I'm impressed. All right, time, time to switch out the marches. Time to do the old switcheroo. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. We get the infantry out. We get the cavalry in. We go to our city, do a little bit of healing, and swap our city skin. Boom. Boom. Heal. Fire it up. City skin to cav. Boom. And we're ready to go. Good like new. Maybe. How are these reports? Decent and decent yeah nothing not much to report pun not intended wait why are you not moving why are you not moving did somebody literally take the pass like seconds before i went to move whatever all right uh let's get to the front line let's get to the front line all right and x is here oh it's done ruins are done now cool Send this march home. Okay. Nice. And this march, I can pick up this rune one last time and then send this march home and bring him home. This is fun. Who is the best DPS legendary commander for free to play? Esong. YSG. It's all about YSG. All right, our rune is officially refreshed. Send our troop home. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. And boom. Back to the action. Back to the action. My god, there's a player that's 710 million power. Oh my god. How much does that cost to get to 710 million power? That's insane. Do I ever use archers? No, I wish I used archers. I wish I used archers. <sighs> Just try to take Esong to 5511 if you haven't already made him. Yeah, 5511 is good for Esong. Although, if you're just going to 5511 a commander, I think that Richard is the better one to do that too. Like, I would really try to expertise your Esong. But that's such a long project. It's a very long project. 
Who's better, Richard Alex or Alex Richard? Um, I think I got that question earlier. I mean, like, if you want to be more tanky, make Richard the primary. If you want to have more damage, make Alex the primary for open field combat. As a free-to-play player, should you ignore Richard for the wheel and go all in on Esong? I would not ignore it. I would unlock the Richard. Definitely, you want to unlock a Richard. You want to have that for your account. From there, I think you've got choices. Also, wow. Okay, I think they stopped fighting. Sort of. They're back at the pass. I feel like we are more likely to hit our allies than we are an enemy at this point. <laughs> Very candidly. Very candidly. I feel like... Oh, son of a gun. Pass blocked again. Can we get through? Nope. We're pass blocked. I can't fight. I'm pass blocked. Hope you're not in there. Hope nobody's in there. Alright. Woo, we're through. Yay. Go home. Alright. And now we'll send these in. Wow. Someone thinks 710 million power is almost half a million dollars. That's insane. That is insane, come to think of it. I wonder how much Solimar... Like, I guess he spent... I estimated at the time it was like 200 grand for 400 million power. So maybe like... Maybe it's like 350, 350 grand for 710 million power. I don't know. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Also, what's so crazy is this player... Yeah, they they ran outside and then they turned right around. I feel like we have to be hitting ourselves here. It just seems so unlikely that we're actually hitting an enemy in this craziness. Wow. Oh, well, there's another player. Okay. I don't know how they got so far out of the box, but okay. Oh my gosh. How, I mean, how do you... Oh my gosh. This can't be good. I'm pretty concerned that I'm just going to hit an ally here. I'm, I'm backing up. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not an ally. We found somebody. We found somebody. And everybody's going to turn on them and they're just like dead. Like, what a choice to make. What a choice to make and what a time to be alive. A noble, but fruitless death. And what about this guy? What are, what are they doing? What? What are they doing? Were they in their pass? They're in their pass now. Very hard to target people. But this player... Oh my gosh, what are they doing with their Sao Tso? Where are they going? Where is this player? Okay, they're just dead. Because it's a Sao Tso, obviously. Wow. Wait, what? No, it's SX. No, an ally's hitting me. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Well. We got we got somebody to hit. I'm surprised. Like, he's fighting from the past. That's very interesting. Okay. Looks like they might be trying to make a push out. That's fascinating. Um. I'm going to back up here. We're a little deep. Although I definitely want to hit that. Sun Tzu. Oh my gosh. So many good targets. Okay, well. Oh my. Dude, we're so deep here. Yeah, get out of there, dude. Get out of there, Chisco. What are you doing? And, ooh. Hit this guy. Oh my gosh. This, this guy's in trouble. This, do they realize how in trouble they are? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good thing they got some serious freaking rocket boots going there. Get out of trouble. And, oh my gosh, what? We got, we got a Minamoto to hit here. Okay. I'll hit the Winamoto. Huh. I feel like fighting this close to the pass really doesn't give us much of an advantage. I'm, 
I'm going to back it up. I don't see the value in being that close to the pass. All their sniper tactics are kind of bothering me. I don't think it's giving me an opportunity to get my skill attacks going, to get the normal attacks that follow up from that. We're getting some, you know, and, ugh, alliance member hit me. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, this is a good one. This this Minamoto Pelagius was a, was a good hit. That was a good hit. And then pff, somebody from, I think somebody from X hit me and that was my counterattacks. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, we're, we're like the friendly fire possibilities are way too high up at the pass there. So I'm, I'm just going to back it up, fam. We're going to back it up to be here. And maybe this will be a place to fight. Devils, you're correct. I was focused on fighting and now uh, we stretch and we can read the chat. If I finish the days to get Alex, do I get it for free? I don't know what the days means for getting Alex. What are the days to get Alex? The 710 million power player has 24 million deads. That's impressive. That's impressive. I'm kind of new to Rise of Kingdoms, 1.7 million power. Can I see your Boudicca talent tree? Matthew, the thing that you need is my ultimate beginner's guide. Go to the section with commanders, and there is a Boudicca talent tree in there. No kidding. You totally would benefit from my ultimate beginner's guide, and I know you haven't watched it because that's in there. So check that out. You're going to get a ton of value, and that is linked in the description of the video. In that playlist is also... How to go from 5 to 30 million power, how to go from 30 million power to T5, when an epic's better than a legendary, which uh, legendaries you should invest in. Oh my god, I gotta hit this guy. Oh my god. It's Groot. <laughs> it's Groot. Groot is back. Poor guy. I don't know the number of times they have sent their troops out and like lagged out. It's crazy. Hopefully somebody's got some march speed reduction that they can put onto him so he can't get away. Oh my god. Somehow we got out of combat there. Somehow we stuttered and got out of combat. That is so weird. Alright, we're hitting this guy. I think. Oh god, who am I hitting? Couldn't tell you. Hopefully it was the enemy. It was the enemy. Woo! <laughs> that was good. Five. That was a quick 5,000 sev. Oh, no, that's SX. Oh, my gosh. I saw red. I saw red, and I almost hit an X player. Instead, I'm going to hit Groot again. Oh, he turned around. That's good. That's good. I, I can't. Can I chase him? I should not chase him. I should not chase him. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. We got to back it up. We have got to back it up. That doesn't make any sense. And now we got uh, X is hitting Wolf. Oh boy. Uh, what? What? What does this guy think he's doing? You think he's gonna chase my Alliance member? You he, he think he's gonna do that? Do you think he's gonna do that? You think you just chase somebody and I'm gonna let that happen? No way, bro. No way. We're going to have to back it up in a second here because we're going to get flanked, maybe. No, we're not going to get flanked. We're just going to whale this guy. And now we got to back it up. Now we got to back it up. Go, go, go. Oh, baby. <laughs> Everybody sees me. Wee, time to go. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, keep going. Oh, why did it stop? Good lord. Alright. I got a train. I got a train. Good thing my counterattack's really high. Oh boy. Alright, now we turn around. Oh my goodness. I think we gotta run. My alliance members need to run. I can try to peel for them, but like, I don't really have any peeling effects. I don't have any slowing. Okay, okay, I'll peel. I'll peel. I'll peel. Leon Sugarfoot, too far forward. I'll peel. Now we got to back it up. We, People, we got to back it up. I'm here just to help you run. Okay, follow me. <laughs> follow, follow me. 
Oh god. Yeah, time to go. Time to time to go, people. <laughs> Clearly I'm not in voice with my alliance members and somebody said we're backing it up. So, time to go. Bye. Bye. Wee. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm just here to help Peel. I'm just here to help Peel. Oh, God. Lord of Epic Beard. You got to go, buddy. Oh, no. Your royal beardness. It's time to go. Oh, boy. Oh, I just got hit by AoE pretty needlessly. Ah, time to run. Time to run. Time to go. If somebody's AFK, it's going to be too bad for them. Oh, no. Poor Epic Beard. <laughs> Oh, I only barely knew him, and he's gone forever. All right, well, <laughs> now the funny thing, a little story about Epic Beard, he came to this kingdom and then left, but I think then realized, like, wow, K75's got it going on and came back. We're very glad that Epic Beard came back. All right, um, throw some emojis. It's time, it's time to go. It's time, it is time to go. Like, oh, gosh. These these folks, you you gotta go. Time to go. Bye. <laughs> uh, Matthew found it and took a screenshot. There you go. I mean, we have we have chapter listings on our videos, our our latest long form videos, to make sure that you can jump to whatever you want. So the links are in the description with timestamps. Speaking of um, liking things. If you haven't already, consider throwing a like onto this video, which supports the channel. It's 100% free to you. And you might want to subscribe for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos to help you get value and smash your enemies. We take your most common questions and we answer them in great detail to give you everything you need to slay your enemies and get value in Rise of Kingdoms, my friends. Chiss, say bada boom when you killed an enemy. <laughs> You want me to say bada boom when I kill an enemy? We're not doing any more enemy killing today. I think I think it's time to go. It's time to go. Bye. See you. I mean, like, I think there's an, an achievement for doing 100 emojis. And I don't know if I've done all the emojis for the achievement. I should check that out. It's achievements. I don't even know where this achievement is. Is it adventurer? There's definitely an achievement for doing enough emojis. And if you do too many, the game will actually lock you from doing emojis, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Not that I've ever spammed emojis and I would know about that. Uh, is Takeda the partner of Attila? Yes. Attila and Takeda are BFFs forever. They're BFFs forever. That's the way to do it. By the way, this pass is about to get really interesting. And I say that because we're definitely going to have to change the hands of the past to get everybody out of here. And people are going to be in a hurry to get out of here. Woo, okay, let's, let's be thankful. Thank you. There we go. Is it finished? I think, I think the Ruins fight is finished. I think, I, think, I, think, I think clearly a call was made on voice that we were done. And these players are AFK. And, uh, yup, their marches will get melted. The punishment for being AFK. Your march gets melted. Are our troops through the pass? Woo! We're through the pass. We are through the pass. All right. We're safe. Chiss, I recently got attacked and I lost so many resources and power. Do you have any strategies to recover fast? Uh, a Sia Cheetah... Check out my guide about what to do if you're zeroed. That has the answer for how to recover from having your city hit. Um, Chiss, can you show us the skill tree of Bybars? Yes, I can. But first, let's look at the final kill count for the day. Um, we're at 11-3. So we started at 10-6-9. We're up to 11-3. It's a decent day. It's a decent day. We got about 700,000 kills on the board. That's not so bad. <laughs> Matthew is going to go get all their phones, computers, and everything and go sub and like. That's awesome. All right, buy bars. Buy bars talent tree request. We'll honor the request. Buy bars talents. There you go. Um, this is what we chose. This is kind of an interesting build. 
It's all about damage if you're not getting targeted. I feel like you could do some other builds that would be pretty good, though. I feel like you could do some other builds. Like, I feel like you could do... Here's, here's what a skill tree build would look like. You'd, of course, go get Rejuvenate. You gotta get that. And I like the skill tree build because this commander does huge amounts of AoE. And I want them to be doing that more frequently. So I think they're going to get a lot of value in a big fight if they do have this tree kind of maxed out. So if we focus our way up to the top of the tree, which is Feral Nature, we've now accomplished that. From here, I want to go into the Cavalry Tree, and presumably I'm going to need the March Speed from Charge to get away from combat if we're in trouble. I also really like the tankiness afforded by the points in health, as well as the March Speed and emblazon shield reducing the skill damage taken by 12 percent now from here you've got a few choices one is to go all the way to undying fury which i think is a pretty good one the other is to get halberd so you are going to drop the two points in over here another route you could go is right up top here and i like this route for the extra march speed i think that's a pretty solid route the way i just did that I like the 6% of March Speed, maybe over the Undying Fury, especially because you've already committed so much into Feral Nature already. From here, you've got two points left. I guess you could increase the normal attack damage. Increasing, I feel, I don't know what's better, the normal attack damage or the health. I'm almost inclined to go like this, maybe. And there's your points. This is kind of a weird build, the last two points, the way I did those, but I don't know. Like, I don't think I'd put them in Equestrian Excellence. Like, I don't, I don't know. I guess you could put them there for chasing people down. If you read this comment, you want to give me money? I don't know that that works that way, Warcold. I don't know that works that way. Uh, can you show a talent tree for Tao Tao Mobility? Uh, so at level 40, I don't actually know what would be most optimal, but I can show you the tree and you can figure out from here what the best starting place would be. You can figure out the best starting place. Do you always list down all your calculations to do your commanders? Um, I, for a time, was using an Excel spreadsheet to track the different combinations of march speed and number of points that it would require for looking at commanders, like, I think it was way back in the day on Minamoto, to figure out, like, What's the sort of like maximum speed I could get and punch I could get and all that sort of stuff? I don't know. We got some interesting builds over here. Um, is it possible for free to play to wait to reach one hundred fifty thousand honor in KVK one? Yes, but you have to go to the ruins constantly. You have to go to the ruins constantly, and that's how you do it. But it is doable. It is certainly doable. Speaking of things that are doable, we need to get our gather or not gathering our barbarian smashing commanders out we're almost at max ap so we gotta spend down we're gonna bring i don't know just a boatload of cavalry i suppose here's one march second march who do i want to put experience on i guess my old Mundok. boom okay and a third march we'll bring yeah sure and I do need experience on my gathering commanders. I mean, can you believe that all I have left to put experience on really is like my gathering commanders? Like I could take Wu Zetian to level 10, but like, I don't know. What's the point? What's the point? Sure. This is kind of expensive sending T5 with gathering commanders, but uh, here's where we find ourselves today. We'll hit the level 34. Do you know how much XP it takes to commander to level 40? Um, there was a time when I knew that. There was a time when I knew that. I mean, I have the answer. I do have the answer to that. It's going to take me a second, but I have that answer. Give me a second and I'll get it. The amount of experience to take a commander to level 40. All right. So to go, hmm. So it depends on the commander. And I only have level 37 for some reason, because I must have been looking at my gathering commanders. It's 3.76 million experience to go from 1 to 37 on a legendary, 3.1 for an epic, 
2.5 for an elite and 1.8 for an advanced, which is why I think that everybody should level up their Centurion as the first gathering commander that they level up because it's much less experience by like half. So there you go. Experience, we nailed it to get to 37. Level 40 is probably going to be, I don't know, just add another 3 million to that problem. Million? No, I guess not. I guess not. Um, it's, but it's probably about 4 million total experience. Probably about 4 million total experience. Okay. Hey, just cool. I just got into the game recently. I've invested a lot more. Truly enjoy the game. Watched a lot of my guides already. That's awesome. Thank you for the feedback. I do appreciate it. I really do love playing this game. Um, obviously I play it pretty obsessively, <laughs> so I better like playing this game, but I really do enjoy it. Who's the best commander for infantry? Um, you might want to check out my guide about infantry pairings. I've got a guide that's like, if you're going to pair one epic with one legendary, what's it going to be? Um, son of a gun. The resource center is out of reach right now because the pass is not in our hands. Passes. Ugh. Passes are the worst. It looks like we took it back, though. I'm going to see if I can get some gathering commanders down here to harvest some gold. Yeah, that's, that's a worthy activity. And we'll send our fastest siege units because otherwise we'll never get there. Let's, let's do this thing. Here's our Grace of Saluna. We'll just invest over here for now. Um, cool. Yeah, this is looking good. Have you tried Saladin Takeda in combination? Yes, Kim Entertainment. Saladin Takeda is legit. Saladin Takeda is super legit. 10 out of 10 would recommend. The um, It's the tankiest cavalry march you can make. It's not going to do area of effect damage, which is kind of a bummer, but it's good. What's a good Edward build? Edward, huh? What are you doing with Edward? What are you doing with Edward? Are you rallying stuff? You do an open field? I don't really particularly like Edward. What's the biggest use for Osman in the early game? I would not invest in Osman in the early game. I think your best option is going to be Osman Sun Tzu. And that's going to be good. Osman Sun Tzu will be good. Um, but I don't know. I'd rather focus on a commander like Joan of Arc that gives you big utility. Boudica, who you need for barbing. Or Belisarius, who you need for barbing. Is Rallying Cry worth it over Feral Nature? Um, often it is very good, yes. It depends on whether or not the commander has a Rage Engine. If the commander has a Rage Engine, in other words, other skills and talents that make it so that when you get more skills fired off, you get more Rage, those are the commanders that really benefit from Feral Nature rather than you saw in the combat we were just doing. Like we're constantly going in and out of combat and in that situation where you're constantly entering and leaving combat, I think that you're better off with Rally and Cry at the top of the cavalry tree, which is going to give you that extra damage at the start of the fight. 15% total. All right. Is, uh, is Saladin paired with Takeda better than Attila? I don't know the answer to that. They're different. They're certainly different. Um, the Saladin is going to be tankier, I think. And the, t and the Attila is going to be more punishing if people try to surround it. It's Beezy, good to see you. I almost read your name as It's Beefy, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, and unfortunately, we sort of teleported near the ruins in order to fight more effectively by them. I mean, I think that was a good choice, but we're missing out on some higher level barbarians at the moment. Can I show a Martell talent tree? I can. And did I do that wrong? I did. Son of a gun. That's, that's what I get for doing too many things at once. Um, I'll show you a Martell talent tree. I should probably reset my Martell talent tree as well. But I'll show you what I would change it to. I never understood how primary and secondary commanders work. So Daryush Kane... You should definitely check out my beginner guide, my ultimate beginner guide. Link to the whole playlist is in the description of the video. 
Um, you should definitely check that out. A primary commander does a bunch of things. It dictates the, the troop capacity, which you can see over here, in conjunction with your VIP level and your city hall level. You get the equipment, you get the talents, you get the skills of the primary. A secondary commander gives you one thing and one thing only. And the secondary commander is only giving you their skills. The skills of the secondary commander apply to combat, and that's it. That's it. Um, does the commander buff available in the profile tab also work for the secondary commander? Yes. I believe that the um, buffs that are right here will, in fact, apply to the secondary commander as well. I don't know for sure offhand. That is very testable, though. That is very testable. Um, you just sort of have the buff, hit a barbarian, look at the report, look at the stats, then remove the buff, hit a barbarian, look at the report, and look at the stats. What's a good Herman build? So we showed that earlier. I'd recommend the skill tree because that's a commander that has a rage engine. They have on their fourth skill something that is generating more rage, which seems pretty good. Um, they basically have... Honestly, they have the very top talent of the skill tree baked into their fourth skill, which is very good. 10% chance to add 100 rage. It's really very good. Any build suggestions for Constantine in the open field? Um, so you got to have the support tree. You have to have the support tree. You're really leaning very heavily on the mobility talents to get around because otherwise he's very, very slow. And I like the idea of using an E-Song to get a lot of AoE damage or using Alexander the Great to be a more supportive march as a pairing. <laughs> Matthew says, when I think I have a lot of XP, but it's only 63,000. Indeed. Can you show us your open field Ethelflaed build? Who would be the secondary? You have a lot of options for who should be the secondary to the Ethelflaed. Um, here's our Ethelflaed build. This is an open field build. This is what we use. And I also promised a Charles Martel build. And funny that uh, I got a reminder in the chat at about the same time that I remembered that myself. So let's look at Charles Martel. Where are you at, buddy? Okay. So we want to come up with a garrison build here. And... I want a garrison build that has Iron Spear. I, I think I want that. Here's my current garrison build. I think it's very good. Uh, but since Attila Takeda became a thing, I think you kind of have to have Iron Spear. I wonder if instead of double-headed axe, uh, this is probably what I would do. Instead of double-headed axe, I would probably get Iron Spear. That's probably the pick. Because if you get rallied by Cav, you're really going to want that. I like Medicinal Supplies. I think Testudo Formation is fine. I think it's fine. I suppose if I wanted five points... I suppose if I wanted seven points... If I wanted seven points... No, eight points. I could put three in this. I could put three in this. And I could put two over here. And that's a lot of emphasis on your infantry. But then you're not having any points in March Speed which seems pretty good to me because, like, I don't need the march speed at all. So I don't know. You're trading off 2% infantry health for the march speed. Here you have one and a half defense of all troop types. See, that's pretty good because the three points you put in this is just going to be infantry. So for defending your city, anyways, this is the build I'm using. I could see swapping out a few points in it, though. I could certainly see that. All right, we're going to send these home. Head on home, people. And feeling pretty good about the session overall. We did some good stuff. How long have I been playing? Uh, we actually just looked at that. 585 days. We are 585 days into Rise of Kingdoms. My goodness. Uh, how long... Um, is it worth spending 2,000 gems for... 50 level 5 tomes of not... No, don't spend your gems on experience in the VIP shop. That's not worth it. Do not gem experience in the VIP shop. You'd have to be a pretty big spender for that kind of operation. Uh, Constantine or Guan. 
So Notorious Big C, I just did a couple guides recently. One is the exact path of legendaries that I would recommend that people invest in. The other is a guide illustrating when legendaries are better than epics. Both of those, I think, will help answer your question. And on that note, we've been streaming for about two hours. I think it's time for us to head out. If you enjoyed this stream, do me a favor, drop a like on the stream, uh, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video and you feel I earned your subscription, until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom. And thanks for joining me for smashing at the ruins. That was a good time.